Hi YouTubers, it's me, Trinelle, ready to embark on yet another hair experiment. This time it's going to be a roller set, and specifically I'm trying to do a retro look using a wet set. Um, I'm always on YouTube looking at different hairstyles and retro things because I love the styles of the, the, the 40s and the 50s. And um, there's this woman, um, and she has this channel called Lisa Fremont Street, and she does a really a lot of cool styles with the hair. And she was raving about this one book called Vintage, Vintage Hairstyling by Lauren Reynolds. And she went on and on about it, and I decided to buy it myself. I mean, I literally went to her website her um, YouTube channel, listened to her talk about it, went straight to Amazon and bought the book. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be an experiment because a lot of the styles are for straight hair. I do not have straight hair. I have highly textured, kinky, curly, whatever you want to call it, hair. Um, it's not relaxed. So my experiment is to see if I can recreate these styles in this book using a roller set because I don't want to flat iron or press it or I don't want to, of course I don't want to put a relaxer on it because that'd be crazy. Um, so this is going to be a little learning experience for us all. Uh, let's see. So I had to go to Sally's. I love Sally's. Uh, I had to buy a lot of um, magnetic curlers here. Okay, If you go to the Sally's anywhere in Oviedo by, by Waterford Lakes or by the Oviedo Marketplace, it lies decimated if you're going to try to in terms of curlers because I bought them all. I've got every size, every color because I just didn't know. So, but um, I'm going to try to do the classic pit up style. I will be using the, the yellow ones. I think these are large. Uh, I'll also be using a lot of body. <laughs> I haven't really bought a lot of body since the Dead Sea just had a little cold, um, but um, I used two cups of water and three fourths cups of a lot of body, and then I put a little bit of um, coconut oil in it. And I got an idea from scouring the web. Instead of using a squirt bottle for the lot of body, because I get it everywhere, you can I actually put it in a little bowl, so I can just stick my hand and run it through. I'm also using, for my heat protectant, got this online. I used this when I flat ironed my hair and it worked wonderfully. I flat ironed it and it stayed straight basically until I washed it out. Uh, this is the Sabino Moisture Block. Once again, if you flat iron your hair, you can get heat damage. So beware, beware, beware. Every time you flat iron, put that much heat on your hair, you risk, even if you're using uh, heat protectant, you risk jacking up your hair. But I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to spray the lot of body on my hair and then I'm going to put this on top of the hair as a heat protectant and so it won't, so my hair won't turn because I live in Florida and it's humid all the time. So, um, what else? Um, I've already washed and conditioned and you see I'm dripping, um, conditioned, detangled my hair. I have my Direct Leave-In by Giovanni. You can get this at health food stores, what have you. I think I got this at Whole Foods. And it's not very expensive. So yeah, I'm a little excited. I will see you when my hair is completely um, set, all curled up, and I'll have a little chat with you after that. See you Hello, soon. I'm back. Um, I sat under the dryer. I didn't come back after I finished um, roller setting my hair. Um, this is sort of how it looked. I've been under the dryer for, it seemed forever. I've been under there for like two hours. I'm hot and my neck hurts because I have a little Sally's hard hooded dryer and it doesn't get the back of my hair, head dry. So I have to bend my head over and, and it's awful. So if anybody has suggestions of a better um, hard shelled hair dryer I can get that can fit all this hair with the big um, rollers, please let me know. Um, I did see the Pibs 514, but that thing costs a car payment, so maybe somebody wanted to give me one. Yay! I, I doubt it. Anywho, so I am going to take these out. I'm pretty sure that some of the back it's still wet, but see, here's one curl. It's not, com 
has a little dampness to it. Let's try another one. Yeah, that's more dry. Okay. So I will come back after I finish styling. Okay, it. I'm back. I am done with the whole shebang. I think it for the first time out. I think it came out pretty good. So yes. Girls with natural hair, you too, with the help of roller setting and this little helpful book here can achieve those styles of the 1940s. I guess I will see you at my next What the hell was I love this book. I didn't follow everything um, because a lot of the styles they use um, hot curlers and um, curling irons and hot curling gonna do nothing to my natural hair so but you know, this is a very good guideline and I recommend it highly so till next time bye